Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning out our October budget uh, and putting all the stickers down, setting everything up, and kind of showing you guys what we do. Our October budget is going to look very different than our other budgets. Um, so if you're interested in seeing kind of how we have changed things and what's kind of going on in our lives right now, then definitely stick for this video. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Michaela Barnhart. Um, I am a wife and a new mommy to a little seven, almost seven week old boy um, named Gatlin. So very exciting things going on in our family right now. Uh, we just finished or are finishing up this week actually with a refinance of our mortgage, um, which is kind of what has sparked the change in our budget for October, which you'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll show you the stickers that I'm using. These are stickers that I created. Um, I used to have an Etsy shop, if you're not familiar with that. Um, I do not currently sell my stickers just because of having um, my son Gatlin and just things kind of getting a little crazy in life. I decided to put a pause on that for right now. Um, but I will show you what I have created for this month. Um, so this is what we've got. This is our October kit. Um, so I just have that for October. I have our budget kit there, weekly check-in page, and then these are for sinking funds. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and start with this one and put everything down and just getting it all set up and ready to go for the month. So like I said, we are re we just are finishing up this week with refinancing our house. We actually close on the new mortgage this week. Uh, which is very exciting. We kind of are having, we're planning out a little bit of our future in doing this. Um, we decided to refinance so that we could pay off some of my, um, or the rest actually of my student loans and just some of the other smaller um, debts that we had for things just to kind of consolidate everything. And then we are hoping in the next little while, the next like month or so, um, to get our house listed and to sell and get, you know, moved out of this place. Uh, we're going to live at my mom's for a little while while we're kind of in limbo and try to find either land to build our forever home or buying our forever home, you know, whatever happens there. But that's kind of our plan right now. Um, so our budget, like I said, is going to look very different. We're not going to have a mortgage this month, um, being that we're closing at the end of September. Um, the company that we use will have it and I don't this might be the same for everywhere I'm not sure but we will not have a mortgage payment the month after we close and since we close in September October will not have a payment so that'll be really nice um, that's going to give us this month to have a little bit of breathing room to kind of catch up because September was um, an interesting month for us we like I said we had our son in August um, and so I have been out of work since then. I'm actually, I just went back wor um, like working from home this past week and I'm going back into the office this coming week. Um, so September has kind of been different with budgeting um, as far as like having, like not having my income. So hopefully October will allow us to kind of catch up from some of that and kind of get back on track. But this part is set up. I am gonna quickly put in some paydays. Let me grab these things out really quick. I'm gonna throw these out as well. We don't need those, but just so they're out of there. So I've already put Jeremiah's paydays in for the month, but I do wanna put my paydays in as well. I get paid on the 5th and the 20th. So we're just gonna throw those in. And then we will go ahead and put in some of our bills. I'm gonna grab the orange ones. That is what I use for our bills. So we will have still our Terminix, which is like our pest control. That one um, comes out at the beginning of the month. I'll have to look and see. I cannot remember exactly what day it is, um, but it is $35. Then we'll have AT&T. That is for both of our phones. I actually already know what that payment's gonna be. They've already posted it. Why did I put a little money symbol? Um, it's gonna be, one fifty nine fifty. Then we have Discovery Plus on our TV. That is seven forty eight a month. Um, our Gerber Life. We just took out some um, of their like head growth star or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the life insurance for Gatlin. Um, I cannot remember exactly what it is. I budgeted $18, but it's like $17 and some change. So I'll wait until it actually comes out to write it down. 
Then we'll have our water payment. Again, we don't know what that will be. We are on like the town's water that we live in. Um, so we'll leave that one blank. We'll have our power bill. We'll leave that one blank. And then we will have State Farm for insurance. And we'll leave that one blank as well. So that's gonna be it as far as what we will have. Um, so I'm gonna kind of blow this really quick so I don't wipe everything everywhere. And then let's put these down. So I think Terminex is the first. I'm gonna kind of flip back and forth just to see. So yeah, Terminex, Gerber Life, and then AT&T. Okay, so Terminex is the first. Gerber is the second. AT&T is the fourth. And then Discovery is the sixth. And then our water bill, we always put on the 15th. It kind of changes every week or every month. Sometimes they take it out before then. Sometimes it comes out after. I think the actual due date is like the 20 something, but it never comes out on the due date. And then Power and State Farm both come out on the same day. And I think that is the 23rd. Let me look and make sure. Yes, so we're gonna put those on the 23rd. Okay, now this page is all set up. So we've got our bills, we've got everything put in. Um, I will go back in a little while after I'm done with this video and I will just put a spot to jot down any payments we make to our credit cards um, or any other things like that. I kind of leave this space open for those kind of payments that I don't have a sticker for. Um, just to kind of track that. But either way, let's move on. I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape. I use the Scotch Permanent Sticky Tape to put these two pages together because I do not use the dashboard and I like to be able to flip straight from um, the monthly view to the budget where I do our weekly check-in. So I'm just going to stick these together just to kind of get rid of it. Just kind of what works for me. And I'm not too picky on how they stick together. I just kind of pull both of them tight and then push them down. And that's pretty much it. So, all right, we'll come back and set this page up in a minute. That's gonna be our actual budget page. So let's go ahead and put in our weekly check-in. That will be here. So we'll start with putting this up here at the top. And then we'll put in our little spent and remaining sticker. And let's see, we need some of these. So I'm gonna put in a sticker for week one. And then we'll skip four lines. We check in with four categories each week. We do gas, groceries, fun money, and unbudgeted. And then I just put these little guys down just to kind of separate everything out. And then we'll put week two. And again, we'll do four lines. week four. Okay, that takes care of that. So the next thing we're going to put in is our sinking fund stuff. Obviously, we're not going to be writing anything on this page yet. Um, I'm also not going to be writing anything on the sinking funds page just because September is not over. So I don't want to close out our sinking funds until the month is actually over. But um, I will go ahead and put in our categories and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just can't put in a beginning amount or an ending amount until the end of the month. So you'll kind of get to see a little bit of what this looks like. 
Um, I will be doing a video soon on, I think it's actually going to come up right after this one, um, on how we set up sinking funds the first time, kind of how we picked the categories that we wanted sinking funds for, um, obviously what each category is, which you're about to see here. Just kind of a general overview of like how we budgeted, like how we started budgeting our journey so far. And I am going to talk a little bit more about those life changes that we have coming up um, in that video as well. So stay tuned for all of that fun stuff coming. All right. So the categories that we have is our, I count our emergency fund here. So I'm just going to put emergency fund. Then we have a fund for, um, I call it Christmas, but it's like Christmas and gifts. Um, so like birthday gifts, anniversary gifts, that kind of stuff. Then we have vacation, general, which is like anything that we might just need around the house. Um, and then we just started a fund for Gatlin and for pets for like vet expenses, grooming, all that kind of stuff. So those are our little categories. And then on this side is where I put our transaction log to keep up with those. So anytime we either add money in or take money out of those funds, we, um, or I sit down and track it here. So there's nothing much that really goes on this page. I just put the title and then this little strip that has the date, amount, category, um, and like a little description spot. And then I'll just write everything as we go. So that is it for those two pages. So let's go back and set up the last page, which is our actual budget. So you guys can kind of see what we're expecting for the month, kind of what's going to be a little different and all that good stuff. So I'm going to start again by just putting down our little title for the month or for this page, not for the month. I guess it is for the month, but so we'll put that down. The way I'm setting everything up is still the same. This has not changed in a while for us. Um, the only thing that's going to be changing is like the fact that we're not going to have like our mortgage payment line or um, some of the other bills that we were having. All that kind of stuff is going to look different and the amounts will be a little bit different. So starting with income, I'm going to list out our categories for income. So we have Jeremiah's salary. my pay like my um pay for work or whatever and then i'll also leave a miscellaneous category i don't put anything in that i just budget zero uh, but i like to have it there just in case we have any like returns or extra money that comes in that way i have a spot to mark it um, and i don't have to kind of figure out an extra place to put it so for jeremiah we're going to estimate that he's going to bring in about twenty two hundred dollars for the month for myself, I have kind of cut back working to just three days a week um, instead of five. So I'm going to kind of cut mine down. I'm not exactly sure what mine will look like, but I'm going to kind of guesstimate around $1,000. And then, like I said, we'll do zero for miscellaneous. Mine may end up being more than that, um, but I don't want to put more than it not being more, you know. So we're just going to kind of put that for now until we have a good look at it this month and then going forward we'll kind of know a little bit better of what to do so that's going to make our total $3,200 for the month and then I'm just going to put this little guy in just for some cute little orange line just to kind of mix up all of the brown and then we'll put in our expenses Okay, so obviously for expenses, I'm going to go ahead and start with our bills that we'll have. So you guys saw me just write these down. We have Terminex at the beginning of the month, which is always $35. Then we have AT&T, which we already know is going to be $159.50. Then we have Discovery, which is $748. Gerber, uh, which like I said, it's $17 and some change. So I did $18 for our budget um, until I see exactly what it's going to be. Then we'll have our water payment 
I'm gonna budget $25 for that. It's never that much, but just so that we're on the good side of that, we'll have our power bill. We'll do $100 for that. And then we'll have State Farm for our insurance. And for that one, I do $235. Okay, so that's it for our bills. Um, so then we have kind of our more variable expenses for our personal life. So we have gas for our cars. I've been doing $300 for that and that's been working out really nice. So we're gonna leave that the same. Then we have groceries. And I do want to mention that in groceries, this includes all of our household products as well, like paper towels, paper plates, cleaning supplies, anything like that, um, as well as any of our like personal products like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant, toothpaste, um, anything like that. And now that includes baby stuff as well. So diapers, wipes, formula. Um, we buy like the jugs of distilled water to make his formula stuff with. So all of that is included in this. I am bumping it up $100 this month just to try and get us more on budget with it. So we're going to do $700 for groceries. Then our next one is going to be tobacco for my husband. That one we always do $85. So we'll continue to do that. Then we'll have our medical one. This is for if we pick up any like medicine from the pharmacy, if we have any co-pays or anything. We don't have any thing coming up that I'm expecting. So we should not really need to use this or if anything, we'll just have a copay or picking up like cold medicine or something like that since we are getting into that kind of time of the year. Um, but hopefully we won't be using that, but I like to have it there. So we do a hundred for that every month. Then we'll have our fun money budget. That's kind of our entertainment budget. We'll do 300 for that. And then another one that's gonna be different this month is for sinking funds. In September, we did not put money to our sinking funds like we typically would. So I'm gonna kind of catch up with that. Usually we would do $535 every month to those various funds. Um, I'm gonna increase that, like I'm gonna double it so that we can catch up from September. So we're gonna do 1,070. And then I always leave a spot for unbudgeted expenses and I don't budget anything for that since it is unbudgeted. Some people budget for that um, just to kind of have an extra cushion, but this is just kind of how we do it. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to put in a total expenses line. I don't know what dripped on that, but it discolored it a little. All right, so our total expenses is going to be $3,000. $134.98. And then we'll put in just another little cute, cutesy type sticker here. And then we'll put in a line for any extra savings that we'll have, and that will be it. Um, I don't do a zero base budget. I know some people do those where you wouldn't have anything left. Um, we don't do this. Anything that's left at the end is just kind of a cushion in our um, checking account or anything like that if we end up having anything left. So that's going to be $65.02 is kind of what we're expecting. So that is our October budget. That is pretty much it as far as how I set things up. If you guys have any questions or anything, definitely leave them in the comments below and stay tuned for that video talking about our refinance and kind of our budgeting journey and where we're going from here. Um, all that good stuff will be answered in that video. So if you have questions for that video, leave them in the comments below as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.